are officially in Rome, Italy. We made it! Finally! First time in Europe, first time in Italy, and I can tell you first impression, I'm super excited to be here. The buildings are awesome. The Colosseum we've already seen, it's right out front of our hotel. So sick, what's your first impressions again? I'm in love with it. We're about to go and grab some pizza. <gasps> Buongiorno. <laughs> Good morning from Rome. Italy. From Rome, Italy. What a crazy 24 hours it's been. Mm -hmm. Yes, today is a new day. Thankfully, we were struggling a little bit from jet lag yesterday. We actually woke up about 3.30 a.m. Uh, last night after going to bed around 7. You guys, I was like wide awake and I was think thinking to myself like, Ryan's going to sleep for the next three hours. How am I going to sleep for the next three hours? Then all of a sudden he gets up. All of a sudden, I was like, surely he doesn't want to eat snacks with me. He's eating snacks with me. <laughs> it was funny. We had like all the lights on and I was like, I'm wide awake. It was crazy. And then we fell back to sleep and then woke up, made it way worse. Yeah, we were tired, but we woke up at 8 a.m. We're trying to start our day, obviously day two uh, at 8 a.m. local time. So now today we should have a full day. We should yes. be able to stay up like until normal sleeping hours. I already need a coffee. <laughs> But we are in Italy, so we don't want to sleep our time away. Cheers. First gelato in Italy. that was a long time ago but <laughs> I remember that like you could see people sitting and like having like their dinner and enjoying themselves and now you're not even allowed to sit so when you come do not sit because they will tell you not to sit so next after the Spanish steps we're gonna go down and we're gonna check out the Pantheon, Pantheon. yes and what's the other place called I don't know no. I don't know the Palacio something there's a bunch of Palacios here apparently we have our Coliseum tour at three I'm trying to wrap my head around because it's pretty hot. We just stopped for a refresher. We are going to the Piazza Navona now. It looks beautiful, but y'all, I know we said this, but we're gonna say it again. It is very hot. Very hot. It's only May. I know I said it before. I don't recommend coming in July, August because <laughs> it's like 88 today. But we're happy to be here. Wear your sunscreen. Definitely wear your sunscreen. We went to the pharmacy 
Brian got some nose spray. And I think it's working. Is your nose spray working? I hope so, because this has been a journey today. I'm trying to power through it because you're only in Rome for what, four nights? Yes. So we want to make sure we're taking advantage of it. And uh, the architecture here is unbelievable. We're back at the room. Why? We were going to the Colosseum tour and we got there. We could not, could not find the tour guide. There was a lot of people out there, a lot of tour guides obviously outside the Roman Colosseum. The company that we booked through probably paid another company that was taking us. We just didn't know what that company's name was. was yeah. And Nor were so, they there. So after about 20 minutes, we said, okay, we're gonna have to get a rain check on this and get a refund. What do you so, do when yeah. that happens? You go get pasta. So we got some we really went. good pasta. I need pasta. It was good. We are about to take a little rest and take y'all to dinner with us. We are going to a Michelin star restaurant. Michelin star. It is Let's on go. top of the hotel that we're staying at, which is the Palazzo Manfredi. 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 Yeah, Manfredi. Palazzo Manfredi. And we will get to look at the Colosseum all night. We're going as the sun's going down. It's gonna be super romantic. We just had like a 12 freaking course meal and it was delicious just so good Whew, your girl's full i think i had pasta three times today and this michelin star restaurant was amazing to be honest there was a lot of surprises a lot of delicacies a lot of flavor the best dessert i've ever put in my mouth ever a little safety net you know just in case Allergies won't flare up again. Good morning. We are off to a new adventure today. We are waiting to go do our Coliseum tour at 3 p.m. Did get a rebooking there. This is a private tour, so it'll just be me, Nadia, and the guide, which we're super stoked about. Between now and then, we are off on a walk. We're going a different way than what we typically have been doing. This looks to be like more like where people live, and it's really pretty. Like maybe locals. So we're coming over here to where the Holy Steps are basically located. And fun fact for those of you who care, the Holy Stairs were actually brought over here from Jerusalem in the fourth century. After 300 and something years, they're unveiled to the public. So with tickets, you can go inside and you can check out the Holy Stairs, which is said to be walked up and down by Christ many times, but the most notable being when he was going up to be condemned by Pontius Pilate. husband is a hustler in the United States and he's also a hustler in Europe. He just got a really cool <laughs> souvenir and the guy tried to tell him it was 65 euros and he got it for 40? 40 USD. Let's go baby. Let's go. So it was go. 65 euros which is probably somewhere around 70 USD if I had to guess. Could like be 75 close. maybe. Yeah. Uh, zero holds more weight to the dollar right now but I got it for forty dollars. It's really USD. cool too. So I've almost got it for half price. So if it was seventy, obviously, and I got it for forty, thirty dollars off. So go, baby, go. <laughs> we also just came out, as you saw, of the Sanctorum with the Holy Stairs, and that was pretty cool. The 
church was a huge success. Highly recommend if you're in Rome to make a stop over here. It doesn't seem like there's as many tourists that are here, obviously. Uh, so it was pretty cool in terms of getting in and getting out. It was relatively straightforward and easy. So here's the church again that we just came out of. It's pretty big, actually. It's uh, a lot bigger on the inside than you would even expect from looking at it just on the outside. In other news, I also just turned on the Nike Run Club app on my phone because at this point, I feel like we have walked around the moon three times. Here in an hour, we are taking the, uh, push you go, babe. Somebody in the middle of the road. Up, oh, stay with me, stay with me. Uh, I think we just got some more steps. We got some more steps in. Excuse us for running across the street there. We're not trying to get hit by a moped. But we have the Coliseum tour. And the Vatican. And the Vatican tomorrow, both of which are three hour tours. So we and felt like that would be a good time to turn on the Nike Run Club app just to see, get an, an idea of how yeah, much we're how walking. Steps. My body's feeling it right now. I'm pretty sore, I'm not gonna lie. to the Vatican we have a tour for about three hours it's our last day here so we are going to do that and then maybe go grab some dinner later on tonight and just explore and soak in the rest of Rome It was even prettier seeing it the second time around, honestly. Really we only saw like one wing of, of the actual museum. I which think was so. Crazy. We didn't get to go up to the dome, which you guys, I really wanted Ryan to climb up to the dome. Yeah, thankfully, my legs are so happy that uh, it closed before we finished the St. Peter Basilica. My legs hurt now. So now I don't have to do the dome. Well, that is a wrap for our trip here in Rome. It was amazing. I don't think it could have went any better. Yeah, it was really great. I would say I can't wait to come back here again. Four Nights was great. Honestly, we did in, a lot. in my opinion, I don't see how you could come for less than four nights and get everything in that we did. Yeah. Um, our bodies, we kind of pushed to, to get everything in. And so if we were taking away days, that would have been extremely difficult. So if you're coming and you're looking for a good timeline, I would say four nights was perfect. Um, you could probably even do five if you're not wanting to push yourself. We actually originally had one free day scheduled, but the thing happened with our yeah, uh, Coliseum saw. tour. But we still got to go. 
and so we had to reschedule that and so uh, that went on our free day so really we had something every single day while we were here everything that we did i would 100 percent recommend like there wasn't anything that we did that i was like oh you should skip that like i think that there must sees for sure hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up drop a comment below it really does help the video rank in the algorithm and we appreciate you so much if you've stuck around to this point with us and until next time we'll see you in florence peace out